Okay, today what you are going to to cover is uh, the receiver operating characteristic or the ROC analysis. And uh, the receiver operating characteristic uh, is a widely used technique in statistics and uh, machine learning to evaluate and co compare the performance of classification models or uh, the diagnostic tests. Uh, it will provide a compressive assessment of the trade of between uh, the sensitivity and the specificity at various classification threshold. So, so, so in ROC analysis, uh, the performance of the class model, yeah, the performance. The performance of the classification model or uh, the diagnostic test is evaluated by plotting a true positive rate sensitivity against the false positive rate at different ratios. So the resulting plot is what we call an ROC curve. An ROC curve. Here is a simple step, uh, step by step overview of how ROC analysis is basically conducted. Uh, number one, you have to obtain the classification result. Yeah, that's the first step. So you apply your classification model or diagnostic test to a set of labeled data or test sample to obtain the predicted probabilities or scores for each observation. So, so that is the first step. Uh, that is the first step on how uh, the receiver operating characteristic analysis is conducted. Uh, the second step. Uh, the second step is uh, setting classification threshold, uh, where you choose a range of classification thresholds to determine with the cutoff point for classifying observations as positive or negative, as positive or negative. And uh, this red directions uh, defines the decision boundary for assigning class labels, for assigning the class labels. So you can calculate the sensitivity and the uh, classification uh, Okay, the third step is basically calculating that particular sensitivity and uh, the specific the specificity the specificity. Yeah. So for each direction, uh, you calculate the true positive rate. The we call it uh, TPR, uh, which is also known as uh, the sensitivity, uh, which basically represents the proportion of positive cases correctly uh, classified as positive. Uh, you calculate the, fa the false positive rate, uh, the FPR, uh, which is equal to 1 minus the specificity, minus 1 minus the specificity, uh, and which basically will represent uh, the proportion of uh, the negative cases which is incorrectly classified as positive for this case. Uh, number four, well, the last step is to plot the receiver operating characteristic curve. So, so uh, this is where you create uh, this curve by plotting in the TPR which is the sensitivity that you have uh, just calculated on part 3 against the FPR uh, calculated from the uh, uh, that part 3 also. So each point on the curve corresponds to a different classification threshold. So, so, so the ideal classifier, the ideal classifier 
or test as an uh, ROC curve that approaches the top left corner indicating the eye sensitivity and low force positive rate across all the dress wounds so uh, we will demonstrate how we plot the ROC curve uh, using this data using this data so that you may understand what we mean by this point here so so uh, okay karibu karibu welcome others are joining again on the same work on jam i don't know but we have to continue what the pata other to pata better to candle so uh welcome to the meeting uh, so i think you have downloaded the notes this presentation for today and uh you can go uh, through the first slide as I discuss the second one before we do what? Before we do a practical using Stata. So, so, ROC. And uh, I, if I may ask, uh, have you ever encountered or come across the ROC analysis before? Yes. Have you? Uh huh. And the other one? Okay, let's continue. Okay, uh, just to go through the first slide as I discuss the second one. You look when I rough idea, but when we will be plotting it using Stata, you will understand more what a receiver uh, operating characteristic curve is. So, so. Yeah, so uh, the next step after the 41, uh, which is plotting the curve, uh, is assessment on performance. You assess the performance. So the area under the ROC curve, the area under the ROC curve is commonly used as a summary statistics. To quantify the overall performance of the classifier or just the test. So, so the AUC ranges from 0 0.5, which is a random classification, to 1, which is a perfect classification. And uh, basically, this is the range uh, for the curve. This is the range uh, that is used to plot the curve. So, so yeah so the higher you AUC uh, indicates uh, better discriminatory power discriminatory power and the uh, overall accuracy of the model or tests uh, therefore uh, ROC analysis uh, will particularly be used when the classification problem uh, involves imbalanced classes or when you need to select an optimal threshold for making predictions based on the trend of between the sensitivity and specificity so it will provide a graphical representation and a quantitative measure to evaluate and compare the performance of different classifiers or diagnostic tests. 
generally uh, receive operating uh, characteristic is just a valuable tool not just is actually a valuable tool to evaluate diagnostic tests and uh, predictive models so it may be used either to assess the accuracy quantitatively or to compare accuracy between tests or predictive models so in clinical practices for example uh, contribution measures are frequently converted to dichotomous tests yeah that is a uh, uh, the field of medicine eh? so the ROC or the, the receiver operating characteristic analysis can be used to select in the optimal threshold and a variety of clinical circumstances uh, that is um, balancing the inherent trade-offs uh, that exist between sensitivity mm. and between sensitivity and con co liquid again and uh, the, the other part yeah liquid uh, specificity specificity between sensitivity and specificity so i call sensitivity and sensitivity is sensitivity and specificity here yeah. Okay, we can uh, we can have scenarios where R O C is applied. We can have some scenarios where R O C analysis is applied. And uh, the first one, uh, the first scenario, nearly uh, kidogo, so you can go and research more on the scenarios where R O C is applied number one we have medical diagnostic uh, the roc analysis will be frequently employed in medical research to assess the performance of diagnostic tests so it helps determine the accuracy of tests in distinguishing between the individual and those with a particular condition and uh, for example ROZ analysis can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of biomaker in detecting a disease or to compare the diagnostic performance of different imaging techniques that are used in field of medicine or in medicine di discovery uh, number two, the scenario number two is uh, the machine learning classification. Is the machine learning classification? ROC analysis uh, is widely used in machine learning uh, to evaluate the performance of classification models, and uh, it provides an insight into well, into how well uh, model can discriminate between different classes. Uh, ROC analysis will also help assess the model ability to correctly classify possession and negative instances by examining the trend of between true positive and false positive at various classification thresholds. So, so, yeah, so, uh, the point, uh, the third point is the credit uh, risk assessment. So, in credit risk assessment or analysis, ROZ analysis can be used to assess the performance of model that predict the likelihood of defaulters from borrowers. For example, this is the the same analysis or the same uh, models that are used by. Akinatala uh, um, branch, all those things, eh? yeah, to predict the likelihood of a uh, default from borrower. 
na wanakunyuma if the model wana if the model uh, predict that you have high chances of uh, defaulting the money then they throw your request away and uh, it does this by comparing different models or evaluating the same model and different scenarios so roc analysis will help determine which model performs in better in terms of uh, correctly identifying high risk borrower while minimizing uh, false positives uh, number four uh, the point number four is fraud detection roc analysis uh, can be applied in fraud detection scenarios uh, such as credit card default or insurance fraud so by evaluating the performance of different fraud detection models uh, roc analysis will help identify the best model for accurately identifying fraudulent activities while minimizing the false positives uh, the last point is evaluation of screening tests is evaluation of screening mm -hmm. tests and uh, ROC analysis uh, will be commonly used to assess the how effective a uh, screening test is in medical settings so it helps determine the optimal cutoff threshold for a screening test to balance the sensitivity and uh, specify ensuring accurate identification of potential cases uh, where while uh, they minimize the unnecessary fallout or false alarms uh, let's now dive on uh, the data and uh, we have some basic commands that are related to the receiver operating characteristic analysis uh, starter uh, rock tab uh, will provide non-parametric estimation of the ROC curve and uh, produce BAMA and early confidence intervals for the area under the receiver operating characteristic curve so so uh, we have the starter rock comp uh, the, this uh, this command will provide test of equality of ROC areas for example if you have three areas area A and B and C uh, the rock comp will provide the test to, s to tell whether these three areas they are equal or not so it can estimate uh, non-parametric and parametric binomial ROC curves so so yeah we have rock fit uh, rock fit command will basically fit maximum likelihood model uh, for a single classifier also as an indicator of their latent binomial variable uh, for the true status for them for the true status we have rock and gold uh, this one will perform test of equality of ROC area against a gold standard ROC curve and uh, can adjust the significance level for multiple tests across classifiers via the CDAX correlation. We have another command that is a rock reg. Uh, this will perform the ROC regression analysis. Uh, that is uh, you can adjust both sensitivity and uh, specificity uh, for for prognostic factors such as age and gender so it is by far the most general of the ROC commands is used here we have a rock rec plot this is for plotting so it will draw ROC curve as modeled by the regression part so a roc curve may be drawn either across coverage values and uh, across classifiers and both and both 
uh, we have steps to follow here and uh, we are going to use the N H A N N H S data that is uh, inbuilt in stata that is inbuilt in stata so uh, I want you to run this command in your machine uh, so if you encounter any problem please feel free to ask so 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 just write this command into your machine here control v so web use uh -huh. yeah so we have the data here let's try to describe and see what we have here this is the data uh, let's try so this is the data uh, you can go through this data at your own time and uh, and understand the attributes so 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 this is a large data set it has 5000 entries it has 5000 entries uh, just a minute as we continue so ukikuwa na any question ask so so usinyamaze ukinyamaze utakufa kikondo which is very bad So we have the data here with us and uh, <coughs> my network is uh, economic as we can do it, I don't know the reason why, but we can continue. So Mukinipata, uh, uh, not Mukinipata, so Niki Mukiske, so Tiango Ikopo, you you can alert me either through the comment section or you can just talk uh, so here we have the ids these are the entries uh, or the the variable names and uh, we have the data types blah 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 and pakapo. so what is our main interest here so we are going to use this uh, uh rock rec for producing the uh, regression to fit the maximum uh, likelihood model for this institution so uh, the extra effect of current age the extra effect of current age on y1 when the child has hearing impairment is estimated by specifying uh, the rock covariance so 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 the control population uh, effect the control population effect of current age and gender of the child is estimated with this function here. I want you to read this code first before you transfer it here. Before you transfer it here. And uh, this is a rock this is uh, the regression of uh, the dy1 i want as we go okay let's copy this one here to just a minute
So this is this D here is for the hearing impairment. This is for the hearing impairment. The Y1 is the uh, is this variable here on the what is the current uh, the rock covariance here represents represent uh, okay uh, the rock covariance will be used in this command to estimate the hearing impairment from child so so this part here and uh, when you run this command actually let's see what you get yeah so we are getting an output here let's see so this is the output that we are getting so 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 this output is from is from the roc and uh we will try now to plot and uh, see whether the areas are equal the areas are equal then we will now try to compare if this line and this line and the other line uh, the three lines that will be present in our plots will be used then it means that uh, the sensitivity uh, the sensitivity is determined when those lines are so close to each other are so close are very close to each other that's how we measure the sensitivity and with the p-value yeah to do so and uh, let's see so this is the the plot in the, the regression analysis for that part mm. Yes, this is the output. Let's now try to interpret this table uh, using these ones here so that you can understand what we mean. Mm. Let's see how to interpret it. So, uh, this output here, this output that you can see here is. Uh, from state command that performs the parametric uh, ROC estimation using the rock rec command with a probability link. So the analysis aims to evaluate the relationship between dependent variable D and the classifier variable Y1. While controlling for the other variables, uh, the current and uh, male uh, using the linear regression uh, this command here the rock curve current option will indicate that the current age variable is used as covariate is used as a covariate for that matter so the first paragraph of the interpretation uh, this part here this is this part the first part is this one here this one here is uh, so the first paragraph of the interpretation will, will focus on covariate control adjustment model and uh, the coefficient presented under the case covariate over there under the case covariance section will represent the effect of the covariate on the dependent variable d so in this case it shows that uh, the carriage has a coefficient of uh, 0 0.49 4 to 1 as you can see here this is the coefficient for the current here yeah so the first value 
and uh, it indicates a positive association with D at a significance figure at a significance level of 0 0.045 because actually this number is less than the significance level of 0 0.05 and uh, the constant term is this uh, 15 negative 15 uh, suggesting a negative intercept with d by the p-value is greater than uh, 0.5 indicating that it is not statistically significant so the case d the case d section uh, represents the standard division associated with a constant term with a value of 8.497 Nine four. So so. So those values to na zipata apa. So this is copy. We are getting those values here under the constants here. We have the case D's. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, so the second paragraph focuses on uh, the ROC model and uh, the coefficient and the Y1 section represents uh, the effect of the classifier of variable Y1 on the outcome of variable D. So the coefficient for the constant value is negative which suggests that there is a negative intercept in that particular model. And uh, the coefficient for current is 0 0.058156, indicating a positive association with the D at, at a significance level of 0 0.045. So the coefficient for the constant is this one here indicating a positive intercept indicating a positive intercept here upper this part here so it is actually important to note that the interpretation uh, so that is how we read the values from the R or C regression analysis. So it's important now to note that the interpretation of results should consider the specific uh, context of the analysis. And uh, the significance level and assumptions of the chosen model. Yeah. See it's not good to interpret a result based or just on your uh, thought or your perceptions it should be interpreted interpreted based on the specific context of the analysis understanding so further analysis and consider considerations of the entire model including goodness of it measure of uh, additional diagnostic may be necessary to fully interpret eh, the result so that's what we do when you want to do those analysis uh, so based on our study based on uh, let me show you based on this uh, this uh, idea here that we wanted to to control the population effect on current age and gender of the child uh, this is the best interpretation according to that context so the results shows us that the current age has a bordering significant positive effect on the ROC curve because the p value is because the p value 
is 0 0.045 so we now use uh, we now use this command to draw the ROC curve for the age of 50 and for the months and add some graph options to make the legend pretty and place it inside the graph inside the graph so let's try to visualize uh, to visualize that data using this particular command here so uh, this uh, this topic is actually in advanced levels so what I know you do more research in case you want in case you will use it later in your analysis so 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 copy this command here and paste it here and uh, try to see what is happening uh, run the command run the command okay i think you can see this is the command uh, or rather this is the output this is the output so let's try now to understand what how to interpret the, those outputs so, so. just a minute So this is the output we don't this is the output uh, this is the range this is the range you need to look at an assignment start from uh, from uh, 0 0.25 up to 1 but now we must have an orange of 0 so, so to the court on account uh, the variations between these three parts here so uh, for this color you can see the reference color you can see the reference color so the reference color is which color i think it's this one here this is the reference color so the reference color is a straight line is on a straight line see this is the reference color so uh, our main aim here is to tell how sensitivity or how variability is uh, 40 months and 50 months from the reference line from the reference line so we have for 40 months here and uh, we have another one for 50 months here we have another one for 50 months there so you can tell uh, you can tell which inch according to the ROC curve uh, is deviating more or far away from the reference line and uh, you can tell it uh, the 50 months inch is the 50 months inch this is the 40 months yes uh, can you give me a minute I think I entered my 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 command wrong uh -huh. and I got it graph so um, i want to i want to edit um the command uh, -huh. uh because i was typing it i wasn't copy pasting it um so uh, can you give me like just a minute so that i can cut up okay
So, ukiandika Okay, uh, let me light the security bulb. Let me light the security bulb. Do not send it Okay, now. Okay. Okay. okay, let's continue. Uh, so, to measure or uh, to tell. Uh, how sensitive data is from the reference line uh, we use the ROC curve we use the ROC curve imagine uh, these curves is not necessarily that uh, they be on this upper side zeno is a quarter kuchin so so zeno is a cone both sides but now but now if you are doing a, a study just a question if you are doing a study and uh, you are in a dilemma to choose uh, between different uh, brands or different uh, on different uh, Let's say, for example, you are doing a research on medicine <laughs> in clinical trials. Now, we put some components that you use uh, to make tablets zingine zinanda outside the reference, outside zin or zinatoka zinanda far away from the reference line. What do you do? Will you choose the one that is far away or close yes you will automatically choose the one that is close to the reference line so so we can choose and you go close to the reference line so yeah so this is the curve you know the cup of the and uh, let's try to let's try to let's continue rather with uh, this next slide so that graph indicated that the area under the curve for 50 months is clearly larger than uh, that for for the months and this can be formally verified you see you see there a rock regression or these other commands it can actually be used it can uh, be verified using this command after you have run the rock reg command and uh, two other classifiers were examined in the study that is uh, the y2 uh, and Y3 so we will use the rock and gold to compare uh, the ROC areas of Y2 and Y3 assuming a gold standard classifier of Y1 so uh, this dark option uh, will provide the adjusted p-value reflecting the two tests that are being performed so this is the 
command so dragon go d1 dy1 y2 y3 then start graph summary let's see Here it require this area was so complex, so complex. This unit was actually very complex, even in underground unit. Eh? That is when performing, when performing the R O C analysis, when performing the R O C analysis. Okay, I can see Mr. Bonfils is around with us today. He can say hi before we continue. Okay, go on, I see for long. Yes, Bonfils? Yes, yes, Bernard. How are you doing? We are doing fine. Bless you. Okay, yeah. I'm also um, doing great. Uh, uh, so, so the, the, there are other students who, you know, who have not been attending, mm -hmm. uh, like they were supposed to be picking from Power BI. I don't know how the attendance has been, but I've been seeing like uh, just some um, two students or what? Uh, they are on the back too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, no problem. You can just continue with what you are doing. I was just like, I'm, I'm just from another, doing another stuff, so, yeah, yeah just continue. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, basically what this command is doing, uh, the rock and gold for D1, D, Y1, Y2, Y3, syntax uh, graph, and uh, summary of the y1 is is recording or giving uh, the variation or the classification between these the y2 and y3 variables that we have in our in our data sets so try to run this command in your own machine and see what will happen And get the output. Are you getting the output, guys? Still in a long poly poly. Let's wait and see. So start in a kwanga uh, when you load uh, when you run or when you execute a command it requires a lot of processing. It uh, might take time. For example for in the it was this one here. Let's see. Let me this one. Eh? Okay, plot it to Hitaka. Hitaka. Nani yake ni metoka? It was again got in the output that we have here. I have, but okay, it looks slightly different. But just the color. This one, eh? So no. Um, mm. oh, the other one, this one. Right? Okay, but you when you execute this uh utapata this output, uh, machine in was alone to kindogo but you can get a uh, car output of this kind and uh, what we use here for classification to tell whether uh, y2 
and to y3 or what we use to tell or what we can use to classify those two entries is actually their p values is actually the p values these are the test statistics that you can see here and uh, these are the values here and uh, basically the p values these are the p values can i, sh can I share what i have it's yes different. yes just to share with us okay, the, va the values are the same i think Maybe the presentation is different. Just share with us. Mm -hmm. Share your screen. Una to me which version? Fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Young women are married in Makataki to a little Muchana Sai machine or to me. So, um, so this is what I have now. I make it bigger. So, um, so yeah. So I have like this, the like the ninth and the third. Oh yeah, and uh, okay. And okay, we show. What do we have? The probability. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So now. This is also something else. So I noticed, like for example, if I was working and my screen was like this, it doesn't print past that section. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we use those p-values uh, for classification. If uh, yeah. the p-values equal, if the values of, if uh, p-value is greater than the significance, what do we do? Uh, we reject. The null hypothesis. And then conclude what based on our analysis in R or C curve? Um, to reject, uh, when we reject, to Nasama Iko Kadibuna, the reference line, south so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we fail to reject, we assume that it's closely, uh, it's more close to to the reference line so so and then um also for let's see for the graph so so that's what my graph looks like yes yeah, so that is for sensitivity Cinder. Mm -hmm. yeah yes i just up as that's that is the next move now from this point go to the sensitivity so yes yeah, so this is the sensitivity uh, state and uh, state of 13 those are using state of version 13 to go to the kingdom so about with this command is actually not relevant Hey, is the angry I have used this for so long. But what I have documented there, I think you can, you can have it in your machines. Eh? When you execute this particular command here, this one, you will get this output together with this one here mm -hmm. so uh, this is the reference line as we said this is the reference line and uh, ROC ROC is trying to tell us or uh, is trying to bring the values of Y1 uh, Y2 and Y3 close to the reference line close to the reference line so for better predictions uh, the closer uh, the closer the okay 
after nimeboea kan nimeongea ndio output inakuja kutoka let me share with you my screen uh, is my screen uh, visible let me see So this is the calf. You may go to a friend the calf. So this is the calf. And uh, this is the reference line. And uh, we have calves, the uh, ROC calves for Y1, Y2, and Y3. Uh, they have different colors, as you can see. For Y2, we have red. For Y3, this is the green color. Y1 is the blue. Y1 is the blue which one is more close to the reference line if i may ask you i think it's uh, y3 if i'm not wrong because up to this point when you compare from zero up and uh, up to this point here almost all the three curves are on are similar they are similar they are similar so this is one to here not a kind of in uh, the blue one you know the kind of so i think it's y2 y2 let's see y2 is rent see there yeah. uh, but eco close eco close to the reference line uh, for how long Eco close um, upper peke na upper sindio haipatikani kwingine is it correct is it true um and then almost at the same level with the green one all the way to the top and then uh -huh. do we consider the area the do we consider the ROC area because in terms it has the lowest value yes actually you remember the AUC uh -huh. uh, so we consider uh, the area covered by each by each each uh, each graph and uh, the area is basically this one here uh, from the reference line we consider this area here so the area between the curve and the reference line that's the area that is mostly considered but now but now uh, this analysis will give you those specific areas right so uh -huh. according to these areas yeah, yeah, white two. White two, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah 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 Wrong thing. So Y two is more close to the reference line. So you may choose to go with the Y two. You may choose to go with the Y two. So so. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I uh, your topic is Kubamba. You do more research, and itakuwa uh, tusawa. So this is importance of ROC venyaru sinaza kusaidia story na performance evaluation and result selection model comparison uh and the linking balance the data set all those things eh? uh, so you can go through them at your own time case you munataka to revise which which topic because we are finishing everything tomorrow nataka muniambie nyinyi sababu I have introduced almost uh, every important topic in state that I personally need to figure in as a core in our city in one way or the other. Which area do you want us to revise with you tomorrow? Can we revise ANOVA? ANOVA, yes. Uh -huh. Which other one?
And then, uh-huh. uh, and then, um, so I haven't submitted my assignment because I honestly am struggling with the submission, with like doing it in Word and then now adding the different sections. So, so can you give us like a so tomorrow as we're doing the so it's not the actual work in Stata that's a problem, it's now now preparing the document for submission. Is it possible for you to just give us like a brief intro of uh, so this is how you, you arrange the appendix, this is how you respond to the questions, so that even for this week it can be easier. Because that's what I'm struggling with. Oh, pardon. Uh, so, I can't get an appendix. So, actually, I can an appendix. I can like, uh -huh. for example, like if you were to give us an assignment on this, uh -huh. and on what we covered today, and then you wanted us to you give us a, a data set and then we're supposed to take it through all these processes and then submit maybe uh the table and then the graph so now um so yeah so this, that's my question so am i supposed to like now because now previously like i was downloading the thing but you said it has to be in word uh -huh. so okay this is uh basically what i do uh Niki copy assignment in a you submit in want. Then I may want to confirm whether you did the same using Stata. That's where uh, appendix in a kujia. You give a short screenshot of what you covered on, uh, let's say, this is question one. I was supposed to do an over analysis. So, who can run the another analysis in Stata? You just interpret using one single sample. Uh, the state will not give you the interpretation, right? And uh, okay, interpret. Okay, could just ask how uko ko appendix uko chini. Unasema this is question one, right? Mm -hmm. Question mm -hmm. one, sasa you insert. You should not allow to insert. Unakuja patua pa. For example, suppose uh, I can connect a short. Suppose this was uh, output for question one. So, so, and uh, Nataka Kuaka uh -huh. for appendix. So, so, so to say, this is my word document, for example, to say, this is my word document. So, Nataka Kuaka Samoa Apachini. Send her. So, Nita uh -huh. Nita Nika, this is my question one, for example, Kwa appendix. Sasa, uh -huh. Nita Kujapa Kwa insert. So, so, Kwa no, I know how to insert. Uh -huh. My question is so, like, for example, if so let me use like the, the the last assignment. Yes. So like the first question was uh, test the claim that um, the population mean is is greater than three million. Yes. So when we actually test it on Stata, is now you write your response in you type your response and then now you attach the supporting whatever output computation. Yeah. Okay. So that was my question. So because I didn't know if we're just supposed to do it without. I now doing like a breakdown explanation, like yeah. like the interpret like I, it wasn't clear that you're supposed to write the interpretation in word. Yeah, you you are supposed to do write interpretation in words. Sababu you are presenting <laughs> this output. Kwamba ni adu what is his data? What what uh, when to reject or fail to reject the that hypothesis of three million, right? Okay. Yeah. So we tell data to na to a story. Yeah. Huh. Uh, okay, so in that case, is it okay if I resubmit assignment one? So I submit all of them on, on Sunday. Because okay. I don't think I did. So I submitted assignment one, but I don't think I did it in that format. So I'd like to redo it in that format. Okay, Nisawa, Nisawa. Okay. So, come on, I'm going to say anything to say. We can call it Sunday. So, so. So, Kesho. Okay. We do more on ANOVA, so I will prepare, yes. I will prepare a document uh, that is more detailed on mm -hmm. ANOVA, on ANOVA. So, so. Okay. Okay. Good night. Okay, have a good night. Thank you.